Alright people, we've got another package here, another retro martial arts video game package. Uh, not sure which one this is, but let's check it out. What have we got here? Uh, possibly a Sega Mega Drive game or a Sega Master System game. Uh, Kung Fu Kid. Kung Fu Kid. We don't have a cover, but that's all cool. Uh, I didn't care about the cover because, well, if you take a look, this is what it looked like. Uh, it's pretty much just clip art. <laughs> This was a cool game, I remember this game quite fondly. Definitely not $5 anymore, so I think I'll see if I can... I'm sure I can get that off. The only version that I know of, which was on the Sega Master System. This came out in 87, I think? 1987? Something like that. And Kung Fu Kid, obviously the name playing on the Karate Kid, but with Kung Fu instead. This game, I wasn't sure what this game really was about. It was a side-scrolling beat-em-up, and very much in, the, in the, uh, the same tradition as games like Kung Fu Master, but with more elaborate sort of techniques and moves and stages and things like that. Something tells me that it was probably originally supposed to be more of a supernatural sort of Kung Fu sort of game. But obviously to cash in on movies at the time and things like that, call it Kung Fu Kid and just pretend it's just simply a Kung Fu game. So it wasn't until years later when I started getting into action Hong Kong films, especially Sammo Hung films, when I saw Encounters of a Spooky Kind. Now Encounters of a Spooky Kind is a 1980 Hong Kong supernatural martial arts film starring Sammo Hung. Hung Kam Bo, as, as some people may know him. He, he wrote it and directed it, I believe. Beautiful choreography in that film too. But there's something very unique about that movie and that's the supernatural element. And I think it was the first time that I'd really seen a Chinese vampire in a movie. Chinese vampires are very different to Western vampires in, in, in terms of pop culture. The Chinese vampires... I remember originally seeing a, uh, a Chinese vampire on an ad for an NES game that was in a, in a comic book that I had. Uh, what was that called? I forget what that was called. Well, this is the picture of it anyway. There you go, I don't have to recall what the title is. You can read. wondered what, what was the whole story behind that stuff and when I finally saw encounters of the spooky kind I thought wow that's that's really unique and it also occurred to me I was like hold on a second there were Chinese vampires in this game as well and there was a few other supernatural elements as well like just have a look at the way the the opening to this game is candles and stuff like that I think that's that's a unique element to this game and I quite enjoy playing this game you should take a look at some of the bad guys as well you've got like the twin Chinese kung fu girls highly enjoyable
Also, if you haven't seen the uh, Sammo Hong movie Encounters of a Spooky Kind from 1980, I suggest you check that out as well because that's a fun movie. So here we go, another one to put to the collection, Kung Fu Kid. Kung Fu Kid, that's what they should have called that remake Karate Kid film. Anyway, so there we go, Kung Fu Kid straight into the collection. Thanks for watching.